Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Ratchet and Clank. We are on Planet Battalia. Oh gosh, that's not where I wanted to jump. I was trying to point the other way. And now all the enemies I fought off at the end of the last episode are back. Wonderful. No, oh, they really weren't all that hard. Oh my gosh, please stay on there. It is not hard to stay on that platform. Why am I... Why, why is it not working? So there's a hidden cave behind these boxes. And we have lots of Devastator ammo. Since we're not going for that one skill point right now, we can totally use this. Let's just use it at the right time. Don't use it on these small fries. So these guys like to sneak around in the bushes. And throw bombs at ya. You know, I actually think it might be possible to get that one skill point at this point. Because I don't think it counts the tanks in the area we can't get to yet. But I also don't want to go through all the trouble of trying just to find out that I was wrong and that you actually can't do it yet. We'll be coming back here later anyways, so we might as well just do it when we know it'll work. So this is a river that we don't want to slide down. And this builds a bridge. And now there is a tank coming. So let's get out that Devastator. I, wow, that I didn't realize Devastator shots were homing. That was amazing. So it takes five Devastator shots to take out a tank. Get back here! I got that guy. I guess we will go down this river because I want to check out the rest of the stuff here. No, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was not letting that guy get away. I think defeating that guy might actually be like a skill point or a trophy or something in the remake. I'm not sure. I really don't remember. Oh my gosh, why is my stretch jumping so horrible lately? Good thing I was good at it when we did the rising water section on Rilgar. So anyways, over here, there is a gold bolt.
I see that stray bolt in there. Give me that. It was a nut, but whatever. So now let's get rid of this tank. Wow, that only took four shots. And now I'm... I fear for my life. Let's get some of these guys around here. That was really close. And I'm expecting that we have not hit any checkpoints either. Thank you, little Glove of Doom guy. Not to be confused with just plain old Doom guy. I'm a little scared here, though, because we're about to build some bridges, and building bridges is dangerous. As we... with this bridge, we have now opened up the path to war. So I'm gonna get my Devastator out. Wait, really? I thought like two tanks came or something like that. I thought there were supposed to be four tanks on the way to this place. I know there are like two more in the section we can't get to. I guess it's just four tanks total in the level then. Okay, I'm fine with that. And now I fell. Because I was trying to collect stuff. But yeah, last time we made a bridge, it brought a tank over to us. Blast that thing, it won't budge. I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry. Hmm. No, never mind. Well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha! That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. I intercepted this communique that you might find useful. Take it. I'm off to find my battalion. Good luck. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Now do you understand why we must stop him? He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine, let's get going then. We'll come back later. You will need a pair of Gadgetron Magna Boots to traverse this ventilation shaft. Unfortunately, our scanners do not detect any Magna Boots on this planet. So we'll use this little thing to get back. But yeah, we're gonna have to go to that section later. And right in there should be the two tanks, but you couldn't see them. I guess they weren't spawned in. I got some great bargains for you today. Yeah, look at that. 150 right. bolts just for three ammo.
Oh, that's a nice one. And now, instead of going on to the next level, we're gonna go back and get a few skill points now that we've got the Devastator. Because, yes, the Devastator was key for us getting some skill points. First of all, back on Novalis. You know what, we don't need to do this one yet, because we're going to be returning here later. But back to Kerwan. Yeah, we can get the skill point in Novalis, but we still can't get that gold bolt. So let's go finish up Kerwan. Get our Devastator out. And let's just look up into the sky. There's a blimp. We missed. I had a feeling we would. Um... These shots are expensive. Please hit. There we go, now it'll home on. You just earned a skill point for destroying a blimp. You just earned a skill point for destroying the quark bot. There we go, that's all we needed to do. And I would like to get my ammo back by finding ammo crates rather than uh, by buying it back because it's expensive. So are there any ammo crates nearby, or should I just give up on my ammo quest? Yeah, I'm leaving. Let's head to Planet Gaspar at the Blarg Depot. To find the pilot's helmet. Sounds like it could be useful. Now, okay, it's still only one mission, but there's a couple paths for us to go on. So I'm going to go on to a little side path first. Yeah, give me that Devastator ammo. As long as the Devastator ammo is the only ammo I'm missing, that's what it's going to give to me. But yeah, we have an, an alternate path. Somewhere around here. Down here. This path that we're on is entirely for a gold bolt and a skill point. Oh my gosh, we're sinking! Do not want to fall in that lava. Now you see these big ships here? We want to destroy all of them. I think there's ten. 
And in order to destroy them, we're gonna have to connect, or we're gonna have to destroy the thing that connects them to the mainland. I don't know if it's like fueling them up and we're blowing up the fuel or what, but that's what we gotta destroy. And bam, one down, and I'm pretty sure there's nine to go. Two down, and we had to destroy that one in order to get further, and it seemed like a bunch of lava just splashed on me. But yeah, these first three islands uh, each have... A ship you have to destroy and a secret one, so now that we're done with Insanity Island, let's head over to Wampa Island over here. Actually, I don't think this is Wampa Island. This is just. A little rest stop on our way to Wampa Island. This is Wampa Island, and we're greeted with the TNT sound effect. And there's apparently more explosives in there that I didn't see. So there's another one we can destroy here. That's our hidden one, I guess. really wasn't that hidden and then the one we need to destroy is over here destroying this one lets us progress further now on to uh, Cortex Island Or maybe not. That is Cortex Island down there. We were just on that little island where Pinstripe resides. That's like... A small area that's like connect, like a tiny island connected to Cortex Island, kinda. You know what I'm talking about if you've played Crash 1. Okay, so the hidden one is harder to get at here. But it is down this way. Bam. We'll just destroy that one with our wrench. And then this final place, uh, I don't know, I guess it's... There is a... This place has four of these ships to destroy, and they're all really easy to find. I could say it's that, like, icy island from Twin Sanity that I can't even remember what it's called, but this doesn't look very icy to me. 
this island also looks mostly artificial, so... I don't know. I guess we just won't name this one. There's our skill point. I was just like, wait a minute, did we get it? And here's our gold bolt. And this will bring us back. Oh, actually, I don't think this brings us right back to our ship. I think it brings us somewhere near our ship. That's pretty cool, Cro just cruising the lava. And yeah, we're not quite at our ship. You can see our ship up there. Destroy that guy before he gets into that turret and tries to shoot us. Destroy that spawner. And that guy actually managed to kill us. And our checkpoint is now here. So I just want to clear this area out a bit before we end the video off. This is where we'll end up when we take the actual path through the level. And this is how you get back to your ship. And I have full ammo, so I don't even need to buy anything. Did I check the vendor? I did not, because there is a new weapon. The Walloper. It does not take ammo. It's literally just a boxing glove. We'll see how effective that ends up being. I guess we'll put it on our quick select. Uh, I'll put the... I'll put the Agents of Doom up there. And I'll put the Walloper down there. I guess. Sure, how about that? So I at least want to use the Walloper a little bit before I remove it from my quick select. But yeah, that is about it for this video. In the next video, we will actually take the main path through Gasper here. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.